What is oceanic versus continental crust? Imagine standing on a beach, feeling the sand beneath your feet and the waves crashing nearby. Have you ever wondered what lies beneath the surface of the ocean and the land? The Earth's crust is divided into two main types, oceanic crust and continental crust. Each type has its own characteristics and plays a different role in the planet's geology. Oceanic crust is the layer of the Earth's crust that lies beneath the oceans. It is generally thinner than continental crust, averaging about 5 to 10 kilometers in thickness. This crust is primarily composed of basalt, a dense volcanic rock that forms from the cooling of molten lava. Oceanic crust is also younger than continental crust, with most of it being less than 200 million years old. It is continuously formed at mid-ocean ridges, where tectonic plates pull apart, allowing magma to rise and solidify. On the other hand, continental crust is the layer that makes up the continents. It is much thicker than oceanic crust, averaging about 30 to 50 kilometers in thickness, and can be even thicker in mountain ranges. Continental crust is primarily composed of lighter rocks such as granite, which is less dense than basalt. This crust is older than oceanic crust, with some parts being over for billion years old. And like oceanic crust, continental crust does not get recycled as frequently, which allows it to accumulate more complex geological features over time. The differences between oceanic and continental crust also extend to their formation and behavior during tectonic activity. Oceanic crust is created at divergent boundaries, while continental crust is often formed at convergent boundaries where tectonic plates collide. When these two types of crust meet, oceanic crust is usually subducted beneath continental crust due to its higher density, leading to geological phenomena such as earthquakes and volcanic activity. In summary, Oceanic crust and continental crust are two distinct layers of the Earth's crust, each with unique properties and functions. Understanding these differences helps us appreciate the dynamic nature of our planet and the processes that shape it. So, the next time you find yourself by the ocean or on solid ground, remember the fascinating layers that lie beneath your feet.